Okay guys, I'm going to teach you how to cover a canvas in vintage book paper. Now, I really like to use, I use this a lot actually, but I especially like to use it when I've got a damaged canvas that I can't do other things on because it just covers it up. But first you find an old vintage book and the thicker the pages, the better. And then you're just going to tear out the pages. Some people like to use a ruler, it comes out a little cleaner. Now I personally don't like a lot of space, I want more words, so I'm just going to tear that off the bottom so that the margins aren't as full of space instead of words. Okay, so you've got your paper and you've got your Mod Podge. And I'm just going to use a big dry brush, just a hardware one. I use this in a lot of stuff. But get a liberal amount, not too much, but get a good amount on your brush. And then wipe it or paint it right on where you want your page. Now I don't want any clumps. Mod, this Mod Podge also dries really fast, so I usually just do it in the place that I'm covering. And then I'm going to make the corner of my page match up the corner of the canvas and then I'm just going to press it down with my fingers okay and then I'm going to do that on the entire canvas Now if you see little bumps arising, I don't know if you can see that, but while it's drying, just rub it in, rub it flat. This is why it's important to wait for the first initial layer of Mod Podge to dry underneath, because if I glued over the top of that before it was dry, it would likely bring up those bubbles. Whereas right now you can easily press them in. Okay, my first layer has dried and now I'm going to put another layer, a thin, don't go too thick or you'll get bubbles, a thin layer of Mod Podge on top and then I'm going to put some paper in the, in, in my empty spaces. Now you may be able to see these little bubbles right here, but they're not actually bubbles. It turns out, I think it's something that came off from my brush, which apparently wasn't cleaned properly. So make sure your brushes are clean so you don't get little bumps. Sometimes if you get little bumps like that, you can just cover it up with another little layer. So once it's dried, you're going to put one final layer over the top and again, don't do it too thick because that, that paper will soften and bubble up. And also I just wanted to give you some advice that you make sure that you know what's on the pages, <laughs> if it matters to you. Make sure that you know what's on the pages of your artwork. My sister made a really beautiful scrapbook for me for my wedding, like a sign-in book and she used vintage paper to decorate it. It was so beautiful, and then I looked closer, and <laughs> it, it said words like suicide and depression and all this stuff, because it was a, a psychology, an old vintage psychology book, which is kind of cool, but I mean, not really something you want on a wedding book. 
Now you'll see that there's some ridges um, from the papers underneath. Some of you may like that, some of you might not. I don't mind it. I like the texture of it. But if you don't want that, then you won't, then don't layer your pages. And you'll notice by the end that the paper actually stiffens up and, and those little ridges and the little bubbles won't be that noticeable, if at all. So, okay, let that dry. 